And just because loading a ferry can be really stressful, I thought I'd actually record me trying to get onto the ferry. I'm hoping that I won't have a major doofus moment, but uh, it's always, I find very stressful because you've got so many cars going on at the same time and uh, not a whole lot of room to maneuver. And though I must admit it's a lot easier with the Jeep than it is with the Jeep pulling a trailer. And I've done that as well. So you really have to <laughs> concentrate when you're doing that. And uh, I must admit when I'm hauling the trailer, I actually don't care that it takes me a whole lot longer than anybody wants me to take. Um, you know, taking the side off a trailer is really easy. And I noticed that it's taking them a little bit of time here to load, so I'm just gonna go off camera for a little while. It looks like we're getting a little bit closer, at least the line next to me is going, so hopefully we will be going any moment now. So it really is uh, quite an amazing feat, I always think, of how they load all these cars onto a ferry in such a short space of time. And uh, we've actually got one, two, three, three different lines of traffic loading at the same time. So uh, that's pretty impressive. And here we go. And I must admit, I wouldn't uh, like to be the person trying to coordinate all of this because <laughs> that would be a really bad place to make a doofus moment. So we're on our way, as I said, to Gibson's. Um, the port is called Langdale. And this ferry does the trip in about 40 minutes, I believe. And it looks like a pretty calm day. It is overcast, um, but that's all. And as soon as I get on board, then I will uh, Yeah, that would have been nasty. Now I tell you, it's going like this that can be a bit nasty if you are hauling a trailer. Now because we're in this lane, it's possible we'll be the first ones off because I've noticed they're inclined to pull the side lanes off first. No, no, we won't be. We'll be among the last now that I look at this configuration. Okay, but that's good. No problem at all. All right, okay, I'm just going to show you what incredible color the water is here. And uh, as I move back, oops, there is a typical British Columbia site. Misty, trees, water. So we're just leaving Horseshoe Bay. And as you can see, I'm right at the front of the ferry and so are about lots of children. So, <laughs> try not to get children's faces in here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my camera off and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as we get to the other side. Well, I'm sure you can hear the wind and I don't know if you can hear me, but I just wanted to show you just how beautiful this is. Even uh, on this overcast day. And it shows you why so many pictures you see of BC are in these muted colors because we spend a lot of our winter looking at this very site. But there's something about the sun just dropping there, and the clouds just coming down. It just is so typical of uh, a wintry day here. Now a lot of people find it very um, 
negative, I personally think it is magnificent. I saw that in a saw that in a uh, art shop. You'd probably think that was incredibly peaceful, and that's how I feel about it too. I'm back in my car, and I have my Starbucks coffee that I managed to get up when I went upstairs. As you know, I have my lunch with me, which is a sandwich. Um, so, leftover from last night that I kept specially ready for this trip. It's, as I said just now, and I don't know if you could hear me over the wind because the wind was positively howling over the top of the camera. Um, I'm at the pointy end of the ship, so uh, you know that that wind was just, you know, we're pushing into it. And it was quite something. But it really is so pretty. Um, I guess a lot of people find it dull, and I don't. Um, I, I don't know how, I know I suffered a lot when I first came here um, because I was used to Africa with all that bright sunshine all of the time. But there is something incredibly relaxing about the scenery. And I'm pretty sure you can probably see some of it out of the window there. I'm going to try and sort of keep to one side so that you can see it. Um, but what I wanted to do was to give you my uh, impressions as I went along. I hope that's what you want. Um, I noticed, for example, that um, the people on this particular ferry, um, I've noticed a change in um, clothing and hairstyle. And I just wanted to say that. And, and please don't think me rude in this. It's just very practical. I've noticed that a lot of the people uh, are obviously heading home. And the reason I know that is because they are in flannel shirts. You know what I mean? The, 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 the men's flannel thick shirts. Um, and the women, I've noticed their hair is much longer and not cut in any sort of... Um, uh, what shall I say? You know, it's just long hair. So it, it reminds me a bit of the um, 60s. I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way. It just is a, it's an interesting thing. As I was walking around, I'm going, wow. You know, that's, that's sort of just so typical of the areas where we're going. Um, you know, it's a very quiet, laid back salt of the earth sort of area. When I say that, I say that with a lot of respect, as you're going to see when I get there. You know, that area is prime, prime place to be um, in terms of, um, this is where we're going to is somebody's summer house. Yeah, right. Um, and you know, I really did think that we were going to a cabin in the woods and it's not, we're going to a house that's got a better kitchen in it than I've got. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, this is not cabin in the woods type camping that we're doing here. Um, so we're very sad that one member of uh, the girls team uh, hasn't been able to make it. For those of you who've met Patty, and some of you have, um, she had to um, have some things done in a hospital yesterday and she just isn't feeling up to it. And I really expected that. So I'm not very, very surprised, but uh, we wish her well and told her that we'll look forward to the next trip that we do and having her join us. Because I think, you know, this is something that we definitely need to do more often. And especially considering I can take you with us. Ah, there's a doggy running around loose. And we know what he's going to do next, don't we? Which pole will it be, I wonder? Um, oh, I have a good story on that one. But I have to do that when I've got plenty of battery. Uh, <laughs> which I'm not sure if I have on this trip. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I got onto the ferry that I meant to be on. Which is great, even with my doofus... Um, <laughs> I like to call that the scenic route, you know, when you go in a in a, a way that you hadn't quite expected. I call it taking the scenic route to wherever I need to go. And as you look around me here, I wonder if you can see the shoreline. Because those houses on that shoreline and those rocky outcrops. They are definitely worth a few cents. I have to tell you that. And some of them have got almost their own little island or 
um, peninsula. Uh, I'm seeing one over there that you'll probably see in a minute. Oh no, you won't see it for a while because of the angle of the camera, but um, it's got its own little rock promontory and wow, is it awesome. I hope the camera will pick up that far. I guess I could zoom it, right? That's what I got to zoom for you. Okay, fine. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can zoom it. You see that? It's got like its own... Whoops. Okay, hang on a second. That could be more challenging. I'll wait for it to get into one of the back windows. But... When it comes into view, which is not yet, it's just coming up now on the left hand side of your screen. So there it is, you see that? That's on its own like little outcrop. It's out into the bay all by itself there. That's awesome. And then look at this one over here. Hmm. Look at that, if you will. Now, I've got a feeling that that house... It's got the old super zoom going here. That house is probably worth a couple of bucks. What do you think? So, it actually almost looks like it's a... It's not a house, you know? Maybe it is. It looks more like a compound of many houses now that I look at it. Wait, I have to wait again. If you look at it... Hang on. Sorry for all the messing around here. See if I can get that. No, I don't think I can. I'll have to wait until it gets to the side. Okay, so have a look here. You're talking one, two, three. I see four different roofs on that. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's a compound in my view. Yeah, but anyway, very pretty. Okay, so. Look at this. There's just the. Hang on. It's just the sun catching the top of that. It looks so cute. All right. So obviously, I am a little um, biased. <laughs> I gotta say that I'm a little biased. So I'm gonna take a break. Have something to eat. Uh, oh. Okay. So that was bozo moment number two, wasn't it? Because I realised I put the camera back. And I have no idea how to unzoom it now. I've got to turn it off and try again. Hold on a second, everybody. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, doofus number two. <laughs> how not to shoot a vlog. Anyway... <laughs> um, I don't know why I find that so amusing. I'm sitting looking at that camera lens going, that lens is a long way off. And then, and then I thought, yeah, that was because you were on super zoom all the way. If you look how far away the coastline is, that super zoom did pretty well. Um, <laughs> but of course I put it back into the car and then tried to take a picture of myself and I'm already right on top of the camera. Silly me, never mind. You're used to it, I know. This is dear Mama Sol saying I'll catch up with you uh, when we get to the other side. Bye for now. <laughs>